this is George Edmondson with ShipGeekFacts.com. Today, we're talking about M Workout. Ugh. Now onto the tutorial. <laughs> Once you've installed M Workout via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions, as well as your effects and your titles. To get a real-time preview, you can skim over each of these and it's going to show you in your canvas. So as you can see here, we have multiple add-ons. We have some different counters and some silhouettes, icons, barbells, things like that. Then we have multiple overlay effects. We have some placeholders. We have multiple reels. So those are like pre-edited videos, really nice with drop zones. And then a good bit of typography. To apply, simply click and drag on top of whichever clip you are wanting to add those add-ons or titles to. So as you can see here, this is broken line. We have a lot of on-screen controls. So we have this position, scale, and rotation. That's a like a master on-screen control. And then we have some of these different items here, these different dots, and they are gonna have their own on-screen controls. Over in our inspector, you can see here that we have animations in and out. And then if you come down, you can see shape segments and you can do up to 15 segments here. So you can really be detailed with those segments and those dots to show, um, you know, some sort of a path or something like that. However you want to do that, you can do from 15 all the way down to two. So there you go. There's your on-screen controls for those. And then of course you can make any changes to your shape roundness, the width, you can make changes to your colors. If you wanted to fine tune any of those parameters for each segment, you can do so here. And you can make changes to your circles, the colors, and then of course you could also toggle those on and off if you would like. All right, moving down to our counters, you can see again, we have uh, multiple counters. We have four of those. We're gonna use counter number three here. So let's click and drag. Bring that in on top of our next clip. Again, you can see some on-screen controls. And then over in our inspector, this is really neat. You can change the number's start value. So if you look at the very beginning here, we can see that we can start at 10 or whatever, all the way up to 100. And then we have an end value as well. Now, if you wanted to invert this and if you wanted to do like a count up, you can also change the start value to zero and then it's going to just count up throughout the duration of that title. You can see numbers format here, so you can spell that out. You can do a scientific number, you can do percentages, just a straight up number, whatever you want. So it's really nice that you have the flexibility to change that as well. And then of course, additional published parameters beneath for your numbers, colors, your lines, etc. All right, continuing down, you can see we have multiple icons. Uh, we've got this barbell, you've got this dumbbell, uh, kettlebells. I'm going to use the dumbbell and let's just bring that in on top just so you can get an idea of how that looks. Again, on screen control. And then this one is really simple in the published parameters. You have animations in and out. You have your scale, position, rotation, and then you have your view type. We have front view and side view, and we have our icon color. You can see it's primarily white, and that other color is just going to be whatever that animation in and out, how it starts, so you can see there. Again, we can continue down. So why don't we look at some of our overlay effects? You've got some blurs, you've got some desaturation blurs, things like that. And then we also have this double vision, which is really interesting. So I'm going to bring that on and then you can see there's sort of a low opacity drop zone thing going on here. I'm going to open up my library sidebar here so that we can get some footage and let's just go through really quickly and find some footage. I like this shot. So again, over in our inspector, we will click this drop zone well, and then let's go ahead and click this video to apply it and then apply clip. And then you can see that that video is playing and we're kind of like showing off all oh, this guy's getting after it. He's working out, you know, in multiple ways, trying to get ready for, for the big event that he's training for. Over in our inspector, if we wanted to scale that up and then we could move that down on Y or whatever we needed to do to get that frame 
how we want it you can do so there and there you go all right let's continue down so beneath the overlay effects again we've got some placeholders and these are going to have some drop zones and they work the same way as our double vision where you just drag that in and then you can apply that footage or that photo or whatever to your drop zone and make changes to those parameters as you see fit as well as the reels it's the same principle so you just drop that into your timeline and then you add content to your reels and make adjustments to your parameters as you need all right, and lastly, we have typography. So why don't we throw the call out on? So we're just gonna click that, drag that in. You can see that we've got some on-screen controls. And let's say in this case, we wanted to call out these rings over here. So I'm going to grab this and then I'm gonna use my other on-screen control and pull that over. And then let's say that we wanted this text to be moved over. You can do that one of two ways. You could simply grab that text and just move it where you want it. You know, something like that. Or you can use your inspector and we can go to our text offset and just kind of grab that on text offset one, grab that on text offset two, and then there you go. And the cool thing is that text is still going to follow around on that on-screen control. Alrighty, let's continue down. We've seen this clip before. Uh, why don't we use on this one, we can use description number four. I'm gonna bring that in. And with all titles, of course, if you just drag those handles back and forth, you can retime that to fit the duration of your clip. As always, some on-screen controls, and then we have all of our adjustable parameters here for our different texts, colors, fonts, etc i wanted to show you this one because we have this number max value slider and as you slide that up and down you can see that that is filling that bar as well as adjusting the number on our distance so that's really cool and then we also have this number two value that's going to adjust those accordingly all right let's continue down and as i told you earlier we do have some effects with m workout we have four of those if we have our clip highlighted, we can just simply skim over each of these and it is going to show us how that is going to affect that clip. So you can see there some animations and things like that. Really nice. I'm going to use my slanted frame on this one. Let's drag that on. And then you can see there is one very simple on-screen control here that is going to move that mask around on our slanted frame. And then over in our inspector, you can see that we have some footage offsets and footage scales. I would like to actually move that over so that we can see that kettlebell. And then maybe I want to scale that down just a little and then we can move it back over. Maybe we could use our Y and we can move that down. So something really simple. And then why don't we build a composition using this? So we could use our list. So why don't we just grab, we could grab list one. We can bring that in over top. We can use our on-screen controls to bring that content over here. And of course you could make any adjustments to the adjustable parameters over in the inspector if you'd like. And then why don't we use one of our icons? We could use our kettlebell. Let's bring that in on top of our list. And again, we could bring that in on top and then boom, there you go. What's great about this is it's all going to animate in really nicely together as you can see there. So really, really cool, really simple and easy to use. Now that is one way to use your effects. The other way is understanding that they do have an alpha channel. So of course you can grab these and you can just drag them onto a clip. Let's say you've got a clip beneath and then now there you go, we're revealing a clip so that we can have like a dual video going on. It's gonna just animate in, there you go. You've got some really cool stripes animating up. We have our on-screen control if we want to move that over or make adjustments. And then we have this one that is snapping to any sort of a grid that's kind of happening behind the scenes there. There you go. On this one, I'm going to turn off my animation out on this top clip because I wanted to do something kind of fun with this. So as you can see here, we've got a hard cut and then we're just kind of disappearing there. And this is like a fun little editing thing that we can do using our transitions. So let's open our transitions. We're on M workout. And again, you can just kind of skim over that to see how those are gonna look. Um, with this one, I want to use my flash burn. I'm going to apply this to the end of my clip here. 
and then I want you to see that there's like a hard cut and a flash and then there you go and we've kind of revealed this next bit so just a really fun a little bit different way of using transitions now obviously you can just click those transitions and just apply those in between two clips in the timeline but using those uh, blend of hard cut effects things like that um, that's just another fun, interesting way to use some transitions and give your edit some energy. All right, and that is about it from me. Again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. M Workout is now available. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.